welcome to New York City. That's right. It's time for another Where in the World is Hammer Travel? New York City edition. We are going to explore the city, share some photos and facts with you, and just have a fun time seeing all that New York City has to offer. Founded in 1624, New York City is the largest city in the United States. New York City is made up of five boroughs, Manhattan, the Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, and Staten Island. Fun fact, the ice cream cone, pasta primavera, and eggs benedict were all invented in New York City. How cool is that? New York City is a very large city with a lot of people calling it home. Locals and tourists alike find the very best way to get around is by subway. The New York City subway system has stops at all of the major tourist destinations and has multiple stations throughout the city. Another great way to get around is by utilizing one of the many hop-on, hop-off tour buses that operate daily. These buses give you time to relax and enjoy the sights and sounds of the city with the option to sit in the open air on the top of the bus. Some fun facts about the subway system. Did you know that if all of the tracks that make up the New York City subway were laid end to end, they would stretch from New York to Chicago. Wow. And only about 60% of the subway system in New York is underground. How interesting is that? If you're looking for a great place to relax while visiting the city, head over to Central Park. The park's 843 acres has a lot to offer, from a boathouse to carousel and ball fields, a running track, sculptures, and endless lists of events and attractions. There's something for everyone to enjoy at Central Park. A fun neighborhood to visit when in New York City is Little Italy, which is located in Lower Manhattan. Once known for its large population of Italians, today the neighborhood has some of the best pizza available in New York City. You better head down there and try a slice. As time allows, head out to the southern tip of Manhattan where you can get some spectacular views of the New York City skyline and the Statue of Liberty. Looming large in the distance, this symbol of freedom and democracy is quite a sight to see. The top of the rock observation deck is a viewing space built to resemble an ocean liner atop 30 Rockefeller Plaza, the iconic Art Deco building at the heart of Rockefeller Center. Built in 1933 by the Rockefeller family, the 70-story building is now owned by Comcast. The observation deck was closed for two decades to allow for renovations, but it reopened in November 2005 and is now a popular attraction offering panoramic views of New York City. A tribute to the past and a place of hope for the future, the 9-11 Memorial Plaza is alive with the twin spirits of remembrance and renewal. The Eight Acre Park is a supremely contemplative sanctuary composed of a grove of nearly 400 white oak trees and the largest man-made waterfalls in the United States. Set within the footprints of the original Twin Towers, each pool is approximately one acre in size. The names of every person who perished in the terror attacks of February 26, 1993 and September 11, 2001 are honored in bronze around the Twin Memorial Pools. At this site, you will also find the National 9-11 Memorial Museum, which is located within the archaeological heart of the original World Trade Center site. The Empire State Building is a world-famous skyscraper in New York City's Midtown Manhattan neighborhood and one of the seven wonders of the modern world. The building is 1,454 feet tall and has 103 floors. Work began on the Empire State Building on March 17, 1930, and just over a year later, on May 1, 1931, the building officially opened. 
The Empire State Building is built in the Art Deco style with lots of geometric designs. In 2009, work began to restore the inside of the lobby to its original 1930s design. The building's lights change color during the year to honor different occasions and organizations. The LED lights can sparkle in 16 million different colors and can light up in time with music. Manhattan's Chinatown is a neighborhood in Lower Manhattan, New York City, bordering the Lower East Side to its east, Little Italy to its north, Civic Center to its south, and Tribeca to its west. Chinatown is home to the largest group of Chinese people in the Western Hemisphere. With an estimated population of over 90,000 people, Manhattan's Chinatown is one of the oldest Chinese ethnic areas. Manhattan's Chinatown is also one of the nine Chinatown neighborhoods in New York City, as well as one of the 12 in the New York metropolitan area. This neighborhood has a unique feel to it that's just waiting to be explored. You'll discover many fun things by walking its busy, narrow streets, and the best time to experience this lively area is during the morning. Times Square is a major commercial intersection, tourist destination, entertainment center, and neighborhood in the Midtown Manhattan section of New York City at the junction of Broadway and 7th Avenue. Brightly lit by numerous billboards and advertisements, it stretches from West 42nd to West 47th Streets and is sometimes referred to as the crossroads of the world. Times Square is one of the most visited tourist attractions in the world, drawing an estimated 50 million visitors annually. Did you know that Times Square was once named Long Acre Square? It took on its current name in 1904 when the New York Times moved its headquarters to the area. The building located in the center of the square is still famous for the outdoor news zipper that displays up to the minute news for everyone to enjoy. Speaking of Broadway, did you know Broadway is the longest street in New York City? Traversing the length of Manhattan, near the middle of Broadway, there's a cluster of theaters that have long made it the foremost showcase of commercial stage entertainment in the United States. In fact, the term Broadway is virtually synonymous with American theatrical activity. The longest running show on Broadway is Phantom of the Opera. And Broadway shows attract more than 13 million spectators annually. As you can see, there is a lot to do in New York City. While traveling in New York City with Hammer Travel, travelers will experience a lot of what the city has to offer and can expect to see many of the popular attractions and sites that we featured today. We do our very best to keep an open itinerary so travelers can see and do what is most important to them and really get to experience New York City and all that it has to offer. If you would like to travel with us to New York City, please head over to www.hammertravel.org where you can find all the information you need to know about registering for this trip or one of our other amazing experiences. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook for even more fun. You can see trip photos and fun things from the trips we've gone on and our upcoming adventures as well. If you have any questions, we would be more than happy to chat with you. So please be sure to reach out either through the contact information listed on our website or our social media accounts. We are so excited to have you travel with us in the near future. Until then, we'll see you next time. Take care.